Hello everyone, and to all who are new uh, to St Barnabas and to this channel, uh, you are very, very welcome. I hope you and those who you care about are doing well, um, keeping well, and doing all right at, at this time. I thought we would pray together. Now when we say the prayers, if you know the words and are in a place where you can say them aloud, then, then do. But if none of that, do listen, and if you feel that you can make those words of that prayer your own, then um, just say Amen, which means, yes, I agree. Both ways mean uh, we have turned our attention to God, uh, if you like, who is next to us and with us, um, who sees and hears and knows. And the readings today will remind us of that. Now, some people who pray find it helpful to light a candle and place it so they can see so they can see it so if you want to do that if you want to go and uh, have a candle then if you, if you want to just pause the video go and get yourself a candle um, and something to light it with and then and, and then just just come back and we can restart now as well as a candle some people find help find it very helpful uh, to help them pray when they read or when they listen to some readings from the Bible. Um, so during this time, I'm going to light the candle uh, and um, just to help us get into, into the right frame of mind and in the right frame of heart. Um, and during the course of this, I shall give two readings. I shall offer two readings from the Bible with a short reflection about them. And then we'll bring before God the people and the places and the situations which which, lay, which are laying heavily at the moment on our minds um, and seeking God's help and insight. So let's find some stillness and to find a comfortable place. Uh, you can stand, obviously, you can sit. Why don't you lie down if that's comfortable? That's fine. Um, and maybe you need to try and still your mind. It's not easy to do. We have lots of thoughts racing around our heads. Let's just try and park all that stuff. I find it quite hard sometimes to do, but just trying to park it um, for a few minutes. It, it's all right. It'll, it'll be all right. Now I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to light this candle here. So feel free to light yours as well. And, um, and as we light our candles, let's be reminded of light. And the light that is God and the light of Jesus Christ, a light that can never be put out. And let's say, the Lord is here, his spirit is with us. And what does the Lord see? You, who he loves. You, who he knew as you were being made. You, the one he has known all your life. The one who truly understands you. The one who would see you fulfilled in this life. Now, as we go on, you may want to close your eyes during this time or keep your eyes open. Maybe watch the candle. Um, and let's see how this goes. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. We pray for those people who are alone and feel unloved, who do not think anyone sees or knows or cares about them. We pray for ourselves who at certain times have felt this. Open our eyes and our hearts to see you and our ears to hear you somehow, so that we know that you are always with us to the end of time itself. Amen. Now I'm going to offer our first reading, um, and, um, and it's, it's basically, this is what happened to a man called Jacob, who had fallen out with his brother. It hadn't all been his fault, it really hadn't, but he had been impatient. 
and uh, the fallout from that, it was very hard for the family to cope with that. So it was thought best that he leave and live with other more distant family some way off, seeking a new life there. On his way, he needed to stay out overnight and this is what happened. Jacob left. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down. And he dreamed. He dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, the top of it reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham your father, and the God of Isaac. Your offspring shall be many, and you shall spread abroad in all the earth. Your offspring will be a blessing. Know that I am with you and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. So Jacob rose early in the morning, and he took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on the top of it. Then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and clothing to wear, so that I come again to my father's house in peace. Then the Lord shall be my God, and this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will surely give one-tenth to you. You may already have heard of Jacob's Ladder, of course, or the Stairway to Heaven. This story in the Bible is where that picture comes from. It's a picture given to us of how heaven and earth are connected, that we on earth can connect with a heavenly place. That may not be literally up, but there is connection to a heavenly place all the same. And in this story, we may wonder how Jacob felt about being sent away. He knew there was competition within the family and between his parents and his brother. But to be the one sent away, unsure of his future and that he may well just be forgotten, being a long way from home, would feel unsettling at the very least. And yet, although complex the situation, God came and reminded Jacob of his love for him, his presence, and that Jacob still belonged to a people, would not be forgotten, and would be coming home. And if we were to follow the story found in the Bible, which, which is from uh, Genesis, uh, from chapter 28, we read what happened to Jacob and how he, he did get home. And Jacob calls the place where he dreams of, where he dreams of the ladder and feels he has met God, the house of God. He, he calls it the house of God, leaving his rock pillow there, a place where he rested and he makes a commitment. It's a bit of a deal with God, really, uh, as if he could make a deal with God. But God is big enough to cope with that for now, uh, because when it comes to God and prayer, us humans uh, can only really take one step at a time. And so let's pray for families like Jacob, where there is struggle, where there are feelings of being misunderstood, not listened to, where there is sibling rivalry and a struggle for attention. And we pray for families under lockdown, unable to find the space they need to be themselves, and missing friends and school routines. We pray for those unsure of their future at the moment. Jobs, health, business, and where family events have had to be cancelled. Amen. Now the second reading is where the writer tells of his experience of God as he has gone through life from birth 
uh, through life and still wants God to keep close to him, helping him walk in the right direction and live in the right way. Um, and this is what he says. Lord, you have examined me and know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts before I think them. You know where I go and where I lie down. You know thoroughly everything I do. Lord, even before I say a word, you already know it. You are all around me in front and at the back and have put your hand on me. Your knowledge is amazing to me. It is more than I can understand. Where can I go to get away from your spirit? Where can I run from you? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I lie down in the grave, you are there. If I rise with the sun in the east and settle in the west beyond the sea, even there you would guide me. With your right hand, you would hold me. I could say, the darkness will hide me, let the light around me turn into night, but even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as light as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made my whole being. You formed me in my mother's body. I praise you because you made me an, in an amazing and wonderful way. God examine me and know my heart. Test me and know my nervous and difficult thoughts. See if there's any bad thing in me and lead me on the road to everlasting life. And we may want to add our, our amen to that, perhaps. What can, what can we add to that? What is there to disagree with? This is someone's story, someone's experience, someone's prayer of how it is with God for them. And if we listen to other people of faith, we may hear other stories like it. And the help with prayer here is that before we say a word, God knows. And this is meant to be a comfort that God knows all about us and loves us. A wise woman um, called Mother Teresa uh, once said about prayer, prayer is when I look at God and God looks at me. She felt she didn't need to say anything to God as she prayed, but if she wanted to, that was all right. And if God wanted to speak, she would want to be found listening. But if he didn't, she was no less in his presence. I wonder if this might be the same for you, maybe in time. Let's pray now for those who live a life of love and hope for other people. During this COVID crisis, key and essential workers of all kinds, as well as how people work at other times, and nobody really notices. May those people know that God is with them and God sees them, loves and values all they offer in the service of others and gives them his peace and protects them and leads them home. Amen. Now we're going to say the prayer known as the Lord's Prayer. There are several versions of it. So say whichever version works for you. Um, even if the one I say is slightly different, that's okay, it doesn't matter. And if you don't know any of any version, that's also fine. Just listen and then say Amen at the end. Let's say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now let me say some ancient words of blessing. And it is my prayer that you are able to receive them for yourself and on behalf of those 
you care for. The Lord bless you and all those for whom you pray. The Lord keep you and all those for whom you pray. The Lord make his face shine on you and give you his peace now and always. Amen. Now in these days when go, going out is not easy, um, a time when some say they feel close to God by being out but now can't, many people find some gentle background natural sound to help. So you might find one of those apps. There's some apps out there to help pray and meditate. I use one which when I turn it on sounds a, a quiet gong goes off. Um, at times for however long I like, say 20 minutes, um, and then when the time is up, sounds the gong again. And it means I can try and be still, listening, waiting, and silently asking God to help me know him better, um, without having to look at the clock. So all the best over the next few days, and maybe tune in to the channel again um, at the weekend. Bless you all, and keep safe. <laughs>